you've also been doing acting, Abdul. Um, and you've been in some pretty sick things. Like, I, I can see that you've got previous roles in The Informer and something called No Comment Web Series, which I haven't heard of that, but The Informer I have. Um, you've turned down a role on Doctor Who. Yeah. Too good for Doctor Who. recently as well. So yeah, you've turned down a role on Doctor Who like a madman. Um, yeah. But you've also got um, an upcoming Netflix series that you're going to be in. Um, called The Last Bus. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, like, how the... Just tell us how the fuck you got into all that. <laughs> like, what the... Tell us that. Give <laughs> like, us your secrets. Um, what did you do? Like... Um... I, Who did it, you do? That's the question. I mean... <laughs> I, mean the, 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 I, I guess the thing is... Um, we, 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 me and you, uh, we went to college together. We studied performing arts. And um, as much as we learned some things, I think the course wasn't as serious as we thought it would be. Um, and don't get me wrong, I've, I've made some really good friends like yourself, like friends for life. Um, but I think acting... Um, I think it's one of those things that if you want to pursue, you, you really have to put yourself out there. Um, and even though I've been in quite a few things, I haven't really put myself out there. It's it's kind of just been in the right place at the right time. And um, with the Informer, the Informer was actually the, the first role I ever took on. Um, and it's, it's kind of funny. Um, the, there was an ad for basketball players in a huge Hollywood film coming up in Gloucester. And I was like, that makes no sense. Nothing <laughs> ever happens in Gloucester. <laughs> and um, my missus was like, oh, you should apply for it. You should apply for it. And I'm like, nah, it's not real. Even the advert, it looked like it done been done on paint. So, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I sent this email along with um, some of my basketball um pictures from back in college days and um uh they got in contact with me and said yeah if you can meet at Gloucester prison on this on these dates and uh, uh we'd love to have you on board as an extra and i went in um i was expecting to be turned away and just head straight to work um and i'm no longer working there so this story isn't relevant to to them or you know um, if I get in trouble for this, um, but uh, uh, essentially I called in sick. Um, but I, I thought it was I thought it was bullshit. So I turned up there expecting to be turned away or no one actually be there and just head around the corner to work. Um, and this this huge bouncer, the security staff comes to the door and he goes, "Oh, I made you here for the for the film?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And he goes, oh, if you head through there into the waiting room, uh, they're all waiting there, just sign in. I'm like, okay, cool. So Security I walk soft. in. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I see all these, like, you know, all these uh, mixed race guys, all these black guys, and a, and a few white guys that kind of look like, um, like heavily tatted and look like bikers slash, like, you know, neo-Nancy type things. So I'm thinking, shit, like, me, maybe this is real. Like, maybe <laughs> something <laughs> So anyway, I you know I carry about my business and um, they send me to costume and makeup and uh, uh, literally put on like uh, like prison like a prison outfit like just joggers and like a, a plain sort of t-shirt. Send me to uh, makeup to get all these tattoos um, applied to me, and um, it took like a good three four hours every day to put those on for five days. Um, so my back was in a lot of pain, um, but you know, it, it is what it is. You just do it. And then I walked on set and Joel Kinnaman, um, he was on set, bumped fist with him and he bumped fist with everyone else and was like, Hey everyone, you know, how you doing? Real, real cool guy. And then uh, on the second day, um, the uh, director told me to take my top off and walk up and down the basketball court. And I'm thinking, oh, great, I'm going to be in this basketball scene. So I do it. And then they select all these people for for um, this basketball scene. And I'm there like, yeah, yeah, I played at a high level. Like, you know, pick me sort of thing. And they're like, no, 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 stand aside. Like, we're not going to pick <laughs> <laughs> the whole reason I come on here, but okay. 
Why did I take my top off? (laughs) (laughs) In the film, it doesn't look like it's raining, but it was fucking raining and it was cold. It was really cold. (laughs) And I'm there, I've just finished Ramadan as well, like fasting for 30 days. I'm like, I'm skin and bones. I've got no body fat on me. And I'm walking up and down in the cold. And I'm thinking, oh, I really need to get warm here. Anyway, we break for lunch and they provide lunch. So, you know, Will and um, Flynn knows what I'm like when it comes to food. I'll, I'll be running back to the canteen, loading up my plate. You know? <laughs> uh, the director comes up to me and he's like, oh, I've been watching you all day. And I'm thinking he's going to be like, I'll go home. Like, he, you're not, you know, you're taking a piss or something. <laughs> and um I'm like, yeah. And he goes, oh, um, I want you to play Vermin. And I'm like, excuse me? You just call me Vermin. <laughs> <laughs> he walks away. He just like walks away. And then the assistant director walks up to me. And she's like, oh, congratulations. You've been, um, you've been casted in, in the film. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. So I don't get <laughs> I like, literally load up my plate put my plate down and she comes up to me and she goes oh we need you out in the courtyard we need you out in the courtyard because um we're going to start rehearsing and i'm like i just you know put food on my plate like i want to eat <laughs> and she's like oh we'll pay you for that don't worry just come and i like i grab a bread bar and walk out with her and then i, I walk to the courtyard and um i see joe kinnaman there i see the director um i see uh um common um, and the videographer and uh, Common, like as in the rapper Common, he stood there and he, he comes up to me, bumps fists to me, with me, and he's like, "Hey, hey Abs, how you doing, man?" And I'm like in awe and like like gobsmacked, like this hip hop legend is like you know saying my name and like asking me how I am, and I'm like, "I'm good, man, I'm good." <laughs> and, uh, and they through the scene that I have to perform, um, and and the rest is you know you can watch it on the movie but uh it was it was mind-blowing just to think walking up and down you know not getting casted for what i originally thought i would be then turning out to be taking like not a major role but like a feature role in a big hollywood film um which also helped pay for my um my fiance well my girlfriend then and now fiance well now wife turning <laughs> What is she, Abdul? What is she to you? Oh, the past 10 <laughs> seconds. Um, yeah, eventually it, it helped pay for, for the engagement ring, which I'm very grateful of. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and then every little bits and bobs have turned up. Look, 